I'm Petty Officer Michael Wilkin. In the news, the Department of Defense announced Monday a replacement unit mobilized to deploy as part of the force rotation in Iraq. Approximately 2,700 soldiers from the 116th Cavalry Brigade Combat Team in Boise, Idaho will deploy in the fall of 2010 as part of Operation New Dawn. The issues surrounding wounded warrior care were addressed during a media roundtable Monday at the Pentagon. Lieutenant General Eric Schoomaker, the Army Surgeon General, and Brigadier General Gary Cheek, the Army Assistant Surgeon General of Warrior Care and Transition, engaged in a question and answer session with reporters. They discussed some of the issues surrounding warrior care, including illicit and prescription drug abuse. Lieutenant General Schoomaker said satisfaction in warrior transition units is at 81 percent, but more work needs to be done to make sure soldiers receive the best care. Our cadre and support staff, both medical and administrative, are trained, they're competent, and they're committed to taking care of our warriors in transition. They do this uh, extraordinarily well on a, on a daily basis. With 9,300 soldiers currently in the program, we don't always get it right. Uh, to that end, we take every criticism and concern seriously and continuously strive to improve our program. Lieutenant General Schoomaker said the goal of the Warrior Transition Unit is to return soldiers to duty or to depart the Army as a proud veteran and viable member of the community. In Mississippi, National Guard troops continue to assist cleanup efforts in Yazoo City following a deadly tornado on Saturday. Guard members from the 112th Military Police Battalion are on duty augmenting county police with security, performing search and rescue missions, and conducting damage assessment operations. Guard officials say they are standing by with additional personnel and will continue to support state and local authorities as needed. At least a dozen people were killed by the tornado that weather officials estimate was more than one mile wide. Cleanup efforts also continue off the coast of Louisiana following an oil rig explosion and spill. Coast Guardsmen have been working around the clock since the Deepwater Horizon exploded last week. A leak was discovered over the weekend and experts believe as much as a thousand barrels of oil are leaking each day. We have the ROV uh, down at the wellhead. The, 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 well, the, the well itself, we have an ROV 24-7 monitoring to make sure nothing's escaping. So right now we're focusing on securing the well. Uh, but absolutely, we are monitoring 24-7 to make sure there's no uh, additional leak beyond the 1,000 barrels per day. The Coast Guard says the oil is leaking into the sea about 5,000 feet below the surface of the water. Last week's airspace closures caused by the volcano eruption in Iceland created what experts are calling the worst breakdown in civil aviation in Europe since World War II. More than 100,000 flights were canceled, including those that bring mail to American military families in Europe. And this is what it looks like today. Instead of a truck at this distribution center in Mannheim, Germany, there are four. And this is just one distribution center. Their story is the same throughout Europe. We talked with one man who, was, who has worked with military mail for a decade, and he says today is what he calls a Christmas kind of Monday. And for the latest military news and information, signature programming, and much more, head to pentagonchannel.mil. I'm Petty Officer Michael Wilkin with your Pentagon Channel News Update.